its way as a launch title for the Game Boy, there's no doubt you've heard about, and probably played, Super Mario Land. It's the first Mario adventure on the old school Game Boy. Mario Land strayed a bit from what you may think a Mario game may be about. There's no Luigi, no fighting Bowser, and you're not even trying to save Peach. This is the first time we are introduced to Daisy. But hell, it didn't matter who you're saving. You're playing Mario, and you could take it anywhere. Now you're still running around bumping things on your head, but instead of hopping around on turtle shells to take out the bad guys, the turtle shells just explode. Also, you don't get fireballs. You get super balls, which bounce off of walls. It changes it up a little. Speaking of little things, let's talk about the Game Boy screen you're playing on. Think about this, the video playing you're watching this on is actually bigger than the original Game Boy screen. So I suppose I should make the picture a little more like this to make it a little more accurate. But I won't make you squint your eyes like I had to growing up. Probably one of the biggest variations of gameplay came when Mario was in a submarine or plane. Why was he in a submarine or plane? Who the hell knows, but it was rad. Now the only real complaint people had about Mario Land was that it was too short. If you can find it in your local video game store, the 10 bucks you pay is way better than the 10 bucks you spend on those crappy Halo 3 expansion maps. Bungie, I want my money back. 